Good morning. In today's health alert, what you eat before and after a cancer diagnosis matters. A local caterer learned that as she battled breast cancer, now her goal is to improve the health of her clients with every dish she makes. I am making a crab meat omelet with spinach, very healthy. Elaine Robinson has been cooking for family and friends since she was a teenager, but her passion became her profession in 2005. Instead of cooking for family all the time and people asking me to cook, why not do this as a business? So that's what I started doing in 2005. And here I am, Cater Lane Catering. Back then, the recipes she prepared were not as healthy as they could be. But this breast cancer survivor had a change of menu and a change of heart after she was diagnosed in 2016. I definitely had to change my eating habits so that I could you know, feel better, um, look better, and do better for myself. With 19 months of radiation, surgery, more radiation plus chemo behind her, she's on a mission to get everyone else to follow her lead, seeing healthy food as good medicine. People need to know that you can't eat what you want, you can't do what you want, and expect for you to live long. You have to be healthy, do healthy things, and think of health and wellness when you're thinking about yourself. Thinking about herself and her customers, she's reworked her menus to include more lean meats and fish, fruits and vegetables, and fiber-rich options. She's cut out salt, cut down on fried food, and cut back on sugar. When they ask me to cook food, I cook food, but they just don't know they're getting the best of it. Elaine has gained lots of followers and converts through social media. Her healthy eating Instagram posts even caught the attention of a local doctor. Dr. John Paul James is the CEO of Total U Integrative Medicine in Clinton, Maryland. He was so impressed with Elaine's post, he hired her to be his food manager and a chronic care assistant. She'll be working with dietitians treating patients with food as medicine. When a person sometimes want to eat healthy, the problem is they don't like the way healthy food tastes. <laughs> not only do they not like the way healthy food tastes, they have problems in terms of acquiring it and uh, where to go, how to put it together. So Elaine brings that for us. It's a very humbling, empowered feeling that people are actually watching what I'm doing, how I'm doing it, and wanting to be a part of it. Healthy and delicious. Looks good. Mm. Tastes good too. I'm Andrea Rose, WUSA 9.